Hello everyone, Jay Marks here at Foodie Friday DFW. Welcome to Corky's Gaming Bistro. We're gonna get caught up, find out some of the new changes they've had in the last year, menu items, and throw some axes. Welcome to Foodie Friday DFW. Hello everyone, Jay Marks here at Foodie Friday DFW, and we're here with Todd Emery, General Manager of Corky's Gaming and Bistro right here in Grapevine, Texas. Todd, thank you for letting us come over. Hey, welcome back. Dude, right? We were here a little over a year ago. We just missed each other. I know, right? Because you've been general manager now just over, just under a year. Just under a year, yep. Good. So you're back with a couple of changes. Mm -hmm. So tell us about, first of all, what's going on at the restaurant? So we've got uh, our pizzas like we had before, which is whether it's a great option, whether you're coming out and feeding yourself or a family. We've got a 10 inch individual size or a 16 inch that's big enough to feed all the kids. Uh, we've got uh, our burgers, we've got our wings. We uh, changed our recipe on our Italian beef sandwich a couple months back. Um, and then, uh, you know, we've got our desserts, we've got our sides, wings, salads. We've got a little bit of everything for everybody. Now I saw those desserts. I mean, you brought three out, which by the way, thank you. You're welcome. We love getting three versions of dessert. You know? <laughs> Foodie Friday is about the food. Yeah. Tell us about those three pies you brought out. So we've got a uh, we've got a New York style cheesecake that's served with a, a strawberry drizzle. Uh, we've got a chocolate Reese's pie, which is one of my personal favorites, and then a gluten-free uh, key lime pie. And actually, the Reese's and the uh, cheesecake are gluten-free as well. Outstanding. Okay, good. So the dessert here is healthy for you. We can eat more of it. Correct. That's it. <laughs> that's good. But what about those street tacos? I mean, I think I remember those. Yeah, we had those before, but what we're doing differently now is we smoke in the meat in-house and just adding that whole extra elevation level of, of flavor and freshness. Right, and they come in three varieties. Correct, we've got brisket, we've got chicken, and we've got pork. Good, and they looked amazing. They are amazing. Yeah, I'll be taking those home. And I will tell you, I saw something, I saw something that was kind of impossible to avoid. What the heck was that? So one of the, uh, the gluten-free options that we uh, chose to go for was the Impossible Burger, which is uh, a meatless, gluten-free uh, burger patty, meat substitute. Um, it's got phenomenal taste, and that's one of the things that I'm most excited about, because a lot of times when you get these gluten-free options or meatless options, there's no taste, there's no flavor. The first time I tried it, if I didn't know what I was trying, I would have thought it was an actual meat patty. So I understand we have some changes here to the axe throwing. Yeah, so. To be kind of in compliance with everything else going on. Uh, yep, absolutely. Just to make everybody feel safe and secure and uh, keep our staff safe and secure as well. We've uh, put up some barriers here on the axe lanes to keep them divided. Uh, we've separated the tables uh, out a little bit differently. Right now we're uh, only operating three, five bays. Uh, so that way we have, we have some of that distance in between groups. And I understand everybody gets their own private axe. We do have private axes now. So we used to share them before we used to put four up to each of uh, the pound and the half and the pound and the quarter axe. Now we have eight sets, one for each person, up to eight people per bay. Very cool. Yeah. So that way you're not exchanging axes. Nope. So you've taken a very dangerous sport and made it safe. Very much so. Outstanding. Yes. Okay, good. We have safe axe throwing, everyone. I remember last year when I was here throwing axes with Daryl, resident expert, uh -huh. assistant manager here. Yeah. Um, I remember how he was impressed with my axe throwing skills. Okay. Not really. It took like 20 times, but I finally got it. That guy was able to throw two axes at the same time. Mm -hmm. Incredible talent. So yeah. you can get coaching here. If you're not good at it, you can leave with some new skills. Absolutely. And the great thing about uh, throwing axes here at Corky's, every bay, every session, you have an expert on your bay with you. So regardless if it's Daryl, you know, who's here teaching you or one of our other experts, everybody's going to get those tips and pointers. Perfect. So Todd, it sounds like I need to bring my whole company here and just have some fun one afternoon. Absolutely. One of the great things about Corky's is we're all weather. So regardless if it's 30 degrees outside or beautiful temperature and raining uh, or 100 degrees, we're the, we're the perfect escape for you. We've got, uh, you know, the, the axe throwing, we've got the full bar, we've got the full menu. Um, we typically have our escape rooms, you know, open and the arcade. We're just waiting for uh, clearance on, the, on that to happen. Um, and we're really excited for that to happen. Whether it's a, a date night or fam bringing the family out for a birthday party or corporate event, we can do it all. So last question, Todd. Okay. If you could tell 10,000 people one thing about Corky's Game Bistro, look into the camera, what would you say? I think no matter what your cup of tea is, whether you're a gamer or you like the puzzles of the escape rooms or the adventure of the axe throwing, you're gonna have fun and that's what we're here for. 